Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a fun unboxing for you that's a nice departure from the Apple and Android centric videos of the past few days. I've got an unboxing here for you of a Sonos product. I'm not entirely sure what Sonos sent here in this big box. We're going to dig in and find out. For if you're not familiar with Sonos, they are a purveyor of high-end audio equipment. So I'm kind of curious. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. And I have no idea why there appears to be a blood stain on the box. Let's go ahead and dig in. And of course, we've got the obligatory, or the OBAC as I like to call it. We'll go ahead and just dig into the box and see what we got. Push it off to the side. Alright, we've broken the literal seal, a ton of packing paper, looks like Sonos sent us the Sonos Zone Player S5. Go ahead and give you guys some information on this in a minute once I take it out of this big shipping box. So what do we have here? So we've got some press material, this is a unit that's sent just for demo. Go ahead and take it out of the box. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Looks like they also sent us a zone bridge. Go ahead and push this off to the side and let's take a look at the products themselves. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the Sonos Zone Player S5. This is gonna run you $3.99. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is right from the Sonos website. It's a high performance wireless music system with five speakers powered by five dedicated digital amplifiers. Two tweeters, two mid-range drivers, and one subwoofer. The S5 delivers crystal clear, room-filling sound that rivals much larger, more complicated audio equipment. Plus, all the digital sound architecture provides precise sound reproduction, just as the artist intended. Uh, with the S5, you can quickly add a room of music anywhere you want. Simply plug it in and enjoy. Uh, the S5 has superior wireless range. No room is out of reach. Uh, you can control this, evidently, with your computer, the internet, or the iPhone or iPod Touch via the app. The other thing they sent us here is a Zone Bridge 100. This is going to run you conveniently $100. Uh, the Zone Bridge 100 makes setting up an all in one wireless Sonos system wonderfully fast and easy. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, instead of using a Zone player, simply connect the Zone Bridge to your router to instantly activate the Sonos Net Wireless Mesh Network. Now, with your Zone player and controller, you can Wirelessly puts music anywhere in your house. It's the ideal solution if you don't have Ethernet wiring in every room. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in and see what this thing looks like. For uh, 400 bucks, you definitely want to make sure you're getting your money's worth and getting a, a quality product. I have never used a Sonos uh, sound system, so I have no idea how it works. So it's going to be a very, uh, I think, unbiased review. As all of my reviews are, or at least I try and make them. So. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what we got here. This looks like it's a, a new unit. And let's see what your 400 bucks is going to get you. On the uh, top of the box here, before I dig in, it tells you you've got the Sonos, Sonos Zone Player S5. Picture of it on the front with uh, the iPhone app right there. Some info on the back as well. Supposedly they're really advertising that this is great to use with uh, Pandora or the Sirius XM app or any of the other uh, audio streaming applications that you can get for uh, the iPhone or iPod Touch. You can see them all listed right there. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what we get. Congratulations, Sonos support team. Thank you for your purchase. We want your Sonos to be pure magic. We got some get it starting stuff and a uh, a disc, and this will work with Windows or Mac, XP, Vista 7, OS 10, Leopard, Snow Leopard, whatever you're running. Any modern operating system. All right, so we'll pull styrofoam out of the box, and here it looks to be the Sonos system. There's a handle in the back, and that's it. It's a very sort of simple design. Um, it's Heavier than I expected it to be. Uh, it's got a decent amount of weight to it. Um, looks like just a big speaker grill on the front. On the back of it here, 
we've got, looks like audio in and some sort of audio out, power, and two wired ethernet ports. Um, that's interesting, we'll see how those work. Push that off and let's see what else we get in the box. Here's something else in here. Box within a box. Looks like it could be anything else terribly exciting. Power, audio cable, ethernet. And that appears to be all that you're gonna get for your money. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Zone Bridge 100 that the Sonos folks were also uh, nice enough to send over. Same sort of thing, congratulations, welcome to the Sonos family, so to speak. And here is our Zone Bridge. Go ahead and take it out of the box. Got the package. And there it is, it's sort of a small white, relatively nice looking box, power, and two ethernet ports on the back, or ethernet switch rather on the back. And keep digging into the box, we also have probably the same array of cables we had with the previous device. Very thin ethernet cable and a power adapter in there. And that is about it. So I'm very excited to use this and uh, let you guys know what I think. And of course I'll give you some sample of audio quality and uh, we can check out whether or not this is worth your 400 bucks for the system or well, even 500 if you wanna get it with the zone bridge. Certainly not an inexpensive proposition, but we'll see if it's worth the money. Anyway, stay tuned to the channel for the rest of the Sonos videos. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.